Oh, the goodness of it all. I was going to say my goodness, but I realised that it's not just mine, it's all of ours. I have had a week of talking to people who need to let go of something so that they can make space for the next wonderful thing to come into their life. And some of them are holding on to fear around letting that thing go because there's some comfort and attachment to it. So there is somebody who needs to let go of alcohol. There is somebody who has been in a business for 21 years and she's no longer aligned with the industry. And it's not that there's anything wrong with the industry, it's just that there is something calling her into the next experience of her life. There isn't any growth left where she is. And the common thread, particularly with my women who are in my Unlimited Joy group, is that they are worried that they're going to let the other person down and it's interesting because this fear is based on the idea that a choice like this is selfish as though the person moving on is doing something that's only for their highest good but what I explained to them and what I want to let you know if you're also feeling like it's time for you to let something go is that when you connect with your soul and you follow your soul your soul will only choose what is the highest good for all. So even though leaving something may appear to cause the other person to feel let down, in that moment they might not understand that this too is the best thing for them. And in future they'll look back and in hindsight realize that that was a great turning point in their life as well. So I'm encouraging you to trust that feeling, that feeling that's telling you it's time to move on from something. And when you do, you will create space and the new thing that's waiting for you will be able to come in.